wanted to make screens for the top of the driver and passenger windows. I took a piece of cardboard and traced the top of the window and cut it out. The cardboard can just fit in the slits here and slide up. So then I traced the edge of the inside edge of it. And then I also made it so when you put the window up, I traced along the edge here and then cut that out. Now I have a cardboard template of the size that will fit in the window for our screen. I needed a quick and easy way to get this profile into my CAD program so I could design the part. So I just used my 3D scanner to scan it. If I had had a touch probe that would have worked well too. I have a uh, Revopoint Pop 2 and a Range 3D scanner. They're pretty inexpensive. The result is a polygonal model that I can load into one of my design programs. I loaded the mesh in. And I sketched out the outside. And I extruded the piece. And I did the screen part of it. And I added the part that overlaps the window. And I made the handle and the part that's going to join the two halves together. Because I need to split it to fit it on the printer. I put some holes in for screws to, and bolt, bolt the two halves together. I made a part so there's going to be a gap in here and it's going to hold the, the screen against the window. Put another hole, bolt hole in. Now I'm going to cut it into two pieces so that I can get it on my little printer. And there I'm done. So that's the model of the screen. And to do the opposite side, um, this is passenger side, I just have to reflect the part over. I have to load the models. And we're going to lay it flat. We're going to go in the screen and change the infill to uh, 40% and to honeycomb and then we're gonna change the layers and so there's no beginning or bottom or top layer so that it's uh, we see the screen we've got support on and I can slice the part and export it I printed it on in clear Pete Petchy on my Prusa MK3 and the nozzle size is 0.4 millimeters. I also printed it on my new Prusa XL printer that has a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and it came out just as well as the smaller nozzle. You just have to remove the support down here and out of the three holes. I use some stainless steel M5 25 millimeter machine screws to connect them. To install it, you put the back edge in, the front edge in, and slide it up. Then you have to bring the window up. installed. 
to remove it, you just lower the window and then you pull it down, twist it, and it comes out. So you can print it in different colors. I tried clear. I think I'm going to do black. It will probably look the best. My original one, I made the screen material only one millimeter thick. And Sue thought that someone may be able to break in. So I went ahead and I printed the screen four millimeters thick. So it's much more solid. But it takes a lot longer to print. I have the Max Air fan on high. And you can see the air is blowing in the vent. There is still a bit of restriction at high because if you open the door, you can hear the noise difference in the fan. I think the black screen looks pretty nice. I'll put the models on the Prusa 3D site and the Thingiverse print site. After making these screens, I found that you can buy a commercial one. It's made out of metal and it has louvers. It's pretty nice. I'll put a link to it in the description if you don't want to print it yourself. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.